Okay, well, I want to welcome everyone tonight to the Frequency of Love. Our guest tonight is Solari in the Solari Group. They are a team of illuminated light beings who are here to assist us and teach us that we can awaken to our inner divinity. They are being channeled by our dear, wonderful friend, Stuart Geltner, who has been with them since 1988. Stuart made contact with the spirit world during a childhood near-death experience, which I need to get Stuart back in here to talk about that. And he eventually went on to study with master teachers and healers in more than 15 countries around the world. So, 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 uh, thank you, Stuart, also for being here, and thank, um, thank you, Solari. My co-host with me tonight is Mary Hostetter, and I'm Adeline Jones. And thank you all for being here with us on the frequency of love. Solari, welcome, welcome, welcome. We have, we just want to give you a huge, hearty welcome. Thank you so much for agreeing to be here with us tonight and record and video and this is it's an unusual opportunity to interview uh someone who's being channeled and i'm just really honored that you're here with us indeed uh we are most grateful and honored to be here as well it is our great desire that you would be able to receive all the blessings which are yours and in whichever way that we can help you to do so this is our intention so for you to give us this opportunity to serve and support you and all of your planet and all of the beings on the planet, this is a great honor and opportunity for all. Well, um, I'm not going to, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. This being a human is not an easy journey. Well, you think it's not easy. <laughs> what did you think? Uh, we found it uh, for myself. Uh, it was very challenging. And yeah. for all of our friends, it is one of the most difficult experiences one can encounter in in, in all of creation. Yes, we well, would agree with you. I'm glad then. It's, it, we're not alone then. Um, before we get into our uh, struggles here and how <laughs> how we can make them lighter, I do want to ask you a little bit about you and the Solari group, and can you describe yourself to us? Well, ultimately, it is not so important who we are, you know. <laughs> but we're uh, interested. <laughs> indeed, inquiring minds want to know. Yes. <laughs> right. Yes. So the first thing we must say to you, though, about this, we will, we will share with you, but the first thing we must say is that we could say anything to you and do to your the ways in which you have been conditioned and programmed, uh, you would have very little ability to verify any of the details of what we're about to tell you. However, it is possible through your heart, through your love, through your feelings, to sense what is real and what is true. And so we ask, rather than focusing on the specific details that we will share to you, share with you, and we will share details, because inquiring minds want to know, <laughs> We will share the down and dirty details of what it is to be a light being <laughs> serving your solar system. But do understand that ultimately it does not matter what we say. It matters the effect upon and the way in which we can assist you and impact your life. Mm. You know, it, mm -hmm. the most important thing we say where the rubber meets the road, this is the day-to-day -day gritty details of your biological, physical life. And so this is what is most important to us. Do you understand? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. But we do understand that there is a great curiosity, and uh, we will be happy to, uh, to indulge that curiosity if you find it useful. So you would find it useful to hear about, about us and where we are from? Absolutely. Yes. yes. All right. And do, do you feel this way, Mary? You wish to know? Yes, I do. Yes. Thank all you. right. Well, all right. So perhaps you know this, perhaps you do not. But your Earth, the planet, the physical planet, exists both in a physical dimension, which you experience as in space and time, through your physical senses, your nervous system, your body, your mind, and also exists in a subtle aspect. There is a subtle aspect of the Earth which has been variously named 
the subtle planes, the astral planes, and so forth. Perhaps you've, you've mm-hmm. certainly heard these terms. The subtle planes would be perhaps a Buddhist concept and the astral more of a Western. But the uh, whatever you name it, whether you name France France or you look at a map and you see a area that looks like France but has another name, mm-hmm. perhaps the way the Chinese name France, it does not matter. It is still the same place. Mm-hmm. So in this same way, whatever you call these places, there are subtle realms which, in which your earth is mm, suspended, so to speak. Not exactly suspended from something, but rather floating like a jewel in the heavens. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yes, and so in the subtle planes, there are billions and billions of light beings and entities, angels, and also non-terrestrial intelligence, non-human, non some human and some non-human from other planets and star systems and dimensions that you have never heard of and won't for billions of years. There are many, many beings there, and we are just one of many, many, many beings. So we are not particularly significant. <laughs> we like to have a good time, and we like to help, and that's perhaps what's most important. So in terms of where we come from, all beings originate from the divine consciousness, what we call the illuminated source of being and creation, the illuminated source. And this, of course, is the most important reference always, to always remember that every single thing and every single being that exists is an expression of this light and peace. There is nothing that exists that cannot be this. Even the most negative that exists emanates from this. And we can discuss this more if you wish, but all that is emanates from one single illuminated source. And we too come from that source. We were created long, long ago. I, Solari, who is the spokesbeing for this team of billions of light beings that exist primarily focused around your physical sun, I was emanated long, long ago in your time. And I remember it because for me there is no sense of time in my own experience of myself. There is only the ongoing contemplation and meditation of love, stillness, and peace. Now, when this universe was formed, I was drawn, I was drawn out of love to be with this star system. For it was seen in the consciousness of the Creator what this would be, and in this way sent out a call, do you understand? Sent out a call for those who wish to participate in this experience. And I was drawn through my love to be with the sun from the beginning of the sun, from before the time there was a sun, before the solar system was formed. Their scientists have it essentially correct in many ways. The solar system was formed mechanically, more or less, as they understand it. Many of them do not see beyond the material realm. They do not understand the prime source of all that is. But in time, all beings will understand this. Respect, honor, and love it. But for now, it isn't where they are. And that's fine. They are welcome to have whatever reality they choose. You know, there is a great confusion upon your earth about the the source of life. And many have this very funny idea for us that it somehow popped up out of dirt and rocks and nuclear explosions, that somehow magically it just arose. Mm -hmm. And of course, this is absurd, that one can see if one opens the, the mind and the heart that there is an illuminated source of all that is that has guided and formed the matrix in which you exist. This being is neither masculine nor feminine, though it has a masculine and feminine element. 
and perhaps your easiest access to this being is through love, the love of the divine feminine. And this energy, if you think of how female beings are on your planet, uh, in their highest aspect, they are nurturing, loving, and they give life. And in the same way, the feminine aspect of the illuminated source, wished for, and wanted life. And it is through this infinite power which she has that life formed. So it is magical, it is miraculous, but it is not sourceless. When you forget and leave out the source, you cut yourself off and feel alienated and lost many times because you don't know who you are. And yet your science is not inconsistent with the facts of how things have arose, have arisen. How does one mm -hmm. say this? Arisen, I believe. Have arisen. <laughs> have arisen. It is very lovely. Have arisen. So we, long ago in your time, but with no time in our minds, were drawn into this solar system and watched it and nurtured it from the beginning, seeing what it would become, seeing what was possible in the same way that you would see what was possible for a garden or for a baby dog, a puppy, you say. A baby dog is a puppy. <laughs> a puppy, you see what the puppy can become, and you do what you can to, to bring forth its most elegant and graceful and wonderful qualities. So we, the light beings, you may call us angels in some way, but this is not really accurate. Uh, the Hindu word, uh, Sanskrit word, deva, is more appropriate, being of light. Nowadays, you are beginning to hear about, uh, more and more about beings of light because uh, they are apparently showing up in your photographs. Yes, the orbs? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. So this is, uh, what do you call it? Well, photobombing, yes. The orbs are photobombing. <laughs> oh. <you. laughs> uh, because it is time for you to know now, not all pictures of the orbs are, are really that. Some of them are lens flares and dirt on the lens. But <laughs> there, there are sometimes real cases where our spirit wishes to manifest and can affect the way they are temporarily uh, being experienced by physical objects. You see? And sometimes you can see fairies and such when you are in San Francisco. And No, we are joking. But you can... <laughs> You can see fairies when, when they want to be seen, the, fa the nature spirits and fairies. Of really? course, you can see fairies everywhere now that it is gay marriage is becoming more uh, acceptable. But in a, in a, uh, on a nature spirit level, uh, they are everywhere. But they allow themselves to be seen, generally. They can change their emanation. So in the same way, orbs, light beings, can change their emanation and temporarily put forward vibrations that allow the physical cameras to detect them. Do you understand? Yes. All right. Uh -huh. So in a sense, uh, you could think of us, uh, me, Solari, as an orb, which uh -huh. is a sphere of light in which there are many vibrations of light and color and shape and geometry. From our perspective... All things are like geometry. Mm. Geometry. Everything is, uh, you know what a fractal is? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. So fractals are a human attempt to understand and, and, and make sense of mathematically the, the underlying dynamic of how dimensions and energies form into patterns. This is why it is such a brilliant thing and so mesmerizing for so many because it reminds them of something they have seen before. So from your perspective, when you would gaze upon us, were you to be able, to, when you will be able to see us, <laughs> then this will come one day, whether it's in this body or the next, and we will greet you upon your, <laughs> the death of your physical body. Oh, yes? Well, oh, that's yes. something to look forward to. Uh, we'll have a hat. <laughs> you know those, <laughs> those, those things that blow like a New Year's Eve? Yeah. yeah, the little horns. Horns, oh, okay, yes. And okay. they unroll. We'll have one of those. You mean all billion of you will do that? Oh, yes. It'll be a big party. <laughs> okay. But we wouldn't want to overwhelm you. So <laughs> we, usually, we usually come just a couple of us with your family. Well, we'll be expecting you. 
Yes, we hope you will dress for the occasion. 